Heavens no! Percy! Percy! What have you been up to? No one's seen you for hours. Ah, oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a piñata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a mug on a drug. Well, come on then. Finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. There is now a curfew in effect at night. Any civilian will this Arthur, those who remember the past will be doomed to repeat it. Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. Hmm, not sure about that. Thank you. Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? He'd have to break the tube to get out. That would break it for everybody. Mm. Well, let's see what Miss Bing thinks of you right now, Clive. <laughs> I think not. I 
hope I did that right. to you, Prudence. Coming back, are you, Prue? But where did you go? behind in our work now that you mention it. the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Come on! Come on! Come on! You are off your joy. 
Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Oh, Call security. Down. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Take your joy. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. You smell gas? Flaming Nora. Forget him, there's no time! Those bastards chased me. There were bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. Those bobbies seem to. Lock me in. I suppose they were worried about the gas. Totally thoughtful of them. <laughs> Prudence really did run off. And she ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. Some odds and bobs. And bits of there we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. What happened to him? Or rather, who?
have, are you going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But, but, but they hurt the city. I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. Hatch looks shut. I'm gonna need a way to unlock it. There must be a switch in one of these rooms. That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. in the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days, we could remember where things were. I think this might be the one Sally and me tried to blow up. I always wondered what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. Berries! They grow all over the Garden District, don't they? I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub.
hope this doesn't give me food poisoning. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. yourself, Arthur. occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Uh, hello? Anyone out there? Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. Oh, that's outrageous. Your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me, for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy, and it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits? Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio!
locked. Aha, but I remember how to make a lock pick. Places are alike to me. I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red. And, and her voice was like Mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15pm. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you. Arthur. I love you too. Oh, that's a bit a safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. My suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. Welcome to the Black Garden District. What a waste of time. Have you been sleeping all right? Sometimes you just have to eat rotten things. That's life, isn't it?
Getting Away From It All 1964 edition by Mr. William Kite. Some sort of travel guide. No one travels. Which means this is something else. It seems to be a guide to surviving the Garden District. How useful. But who is Mr. Kite? Don't be God, won't sniff you out. You know. Get him! You did it! Oh. 